Fayette County deputies have arrested two men who they say are responsible for a Tyrone family's move-in nightmare. Investigators say the men held up their moving van driver. As Fox 5's Doug Evans reports, the men accused of the crime were supposed to be helping move the furniture. Moving stories are a lot like wedding stories. Everyone seems to have one. If you've ever moved, you probably have a good story to go along with it. Imagine the family that moved into this Tyrone neighborhood back in May. With the moving van sitting in front of the family's home, the truck driver alerted his company that he needed help offloading a large item. This heavy item that could not be moved by this person alone and actually would need help and a piece of equipment was a golf cart. The sheriff says the company went to Craigslist and hired the first two applicants these guys. Bad decision for the truck driver and the family waiting for them to move in their belongings. The people that would show up later that day seemed legitimate to the truck driver. That this is a normal routine apparently for moving companies, but in turn it was actually uh, they did a pedestrian robbery. The sheriff says the men took the truck driver in their car down State Road 74 under the pretense of renting some equipment, but then pulled off the road and robbed him at gunpoint. Sheriff Babb says Joseph Huggins Jr. and Demetrius Scott are from South Carolina, but he says they were staging in Atlanta using Craigslist to commit crimes. The sheriff says the out-of-state moving company who hired them locally off of the internet could have put the family in jeopardy as well. But it's something we always want to stress is vet any kind of organization that's going to have anything to do with your residents, whether it's a construction company, a cleaning company, a moving company, just vet them as well as you can and just be eyes wide open and be ready just to be suspicious of anything and don't hesitate to call us if something doesn't look right or sound right. We're told that the family did eventually get moved into their new house after what was a pretty significant delay. In Tyrone in Fayette County, I'm Doug Evans, Fox 5 News.